Hey, this is Chase from Techtone, and welcome to part 3 of the TechCare 700 video training series. In this video, we will be covering the setup process for the CT701A serial to Ethernet adapter. We will begin by setting the static IP of your laptop to be on the same subnet as the CT701A. This will allow us to be able to communicate with the converter to configure its settings. Begin by clicking on the network icon in the taskbar and select Network and Internet Settings. Then choose Change Adapter Options and select the Ethernet adapter you plan on using for configuration. From the window that appears, ensure that IPv6 is not selected. Then select IPv4 and click Properties. Check Use the following IP address. Enter the IP address for the Internet connection. Available IP addresses are in the range of 192.168.2.1 through 254. In this example, we will be using 1 because it is the first available value. Click the subnet mask and it should autofill to 255.255.255.0. If not, manually enter this address into the field. Click OK to apply these changes. Next, connect the CT701A to your laptop using the Ethernet connection that was just configured. Then, open a web browser and enter the IP address 192.168.2.125, which is the default physical address of the CT701A. A login window will appear. Username and password are both admin. Click OK to access the configuration page. Once you are able to access the firmware configuration, there are a few settings that must be changed so that the CT701A can properly communicate with the TechCare 700 hardware and the NC475 appliance server. Under Serial Settings, change the serial type to RS485. Under Network Settings, we will be changing the static IP address the static default gateway, and the transmit timer. Contact your facility's IT department to obtain the proper IP address. In this example, we will be using 192.168.0.1 in both fields. Next, change the transmit timer to 10. After you have changed the IP addresses, click Apply and OK. Then select Reboot. Now that we have the CT701A configured, we will test the configuration by connecting the CT701A to the local network. We will also need to reconnect the laptop to the local network by reverting its original settings. Now that the CT701A and the laptop are connected to the same facility network, we will test communication between the two by opening a web browser and navigating to the configuration page. If the page appears, connection between the laptop and the converter is successful. If the page does not appear, verify the IP settings of the laptop and consult with the IT department of the facility that the hardware is being installed in. Continue on to the next video to complete system configuration and programming. 